Welcome back, gamers! Today we've got some exciting news straight from AMD. The company has quietly expanded both its Ryzen 9000 and Ryzen 7000 lineups, giving budget and mid-range builders some very interesting new options for 2025. We're talking about a brand new globally available Ryzen 5 9500F, along with two stealthy Zen 4 editions, the Ryzen 5 7400 and Ryzen 5 7400F, which are aimed primarily at system integration. Let's break down everything you need to know about these chips, how they fit into AMD's current strategy, and whether they're worth considering for your next gaming build. At number 1, we have AMD Ryzen 5 9500F kicking things off with the headliner. The Ryzen 5 9500F is AMD's latest Zen 5 based processor and it's now officially available for retail across global markets. This chip sits in the Ryzen 9000 family, but targets the same sweet spot that made the Ryzen 5 7500F so popular. Affordable, efficient gaming performance. The 9500F maintains a 6-core, 12-thread configuration, but leverages the improved Zen 5 architecture, which delivers higher IPC and better power efficiency compared to Zen 4. Because it's an F-series part, there's no integrated graphics, meaning you'll need a discrete GPU that does help keep the price down and AMD has tuned the chip to hit higher boost clocks than older mid-range models while staying within a friendly 65 watts of TDP. For gamers or creators looking for a modern AM5 platform without spending flagship money, the 9500F is shaping up to be a fantastic value play and a perfect entry into DDR5 and PCIe 5.0. On South Korean retailer listings, the 9500F is showing up at around 204 US dollars, making it an extremely attractive entry point to the AM5 platform with full DDR5 and PCIe 5.0 support. For gamers or creators looking for next-gen performance without paying flagship prices, this chip is the real star of AMD's quiet rollout. At number 2, we have AMD Ryzen 5 7400F. This one is an interesting stealth release. The Ryzen 5 7400F belongs to the Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 family and is technically a generation behind the 9500F, but it offers some surprisingly strong specs. We're looking at 6 cores and 12 threads, a 3.7 GHz base clock, and a 4.7 GHz boost clock, all on a 65 watts of TDP. Most impressive is the 32 megabytes of L3 cache, double what we'd expect from a typical non-X mid-range chip in this bracket. That larger cache and higher boost frequency make the 7400F significantly stronger in gaming workloads compared to its sibling, the standard 7400. Just like other F-series chips, it comes without integrated graphics, so you'll need a dedicated GPU, but for pure gaming performance, that's hardly a drawback. At roughly the equivalent of about 138 US dollars in early Korean listings, this CPU could be a sleeper hit, if you can actually get your hands on one. At number 3, we have AMD Ryzen 5 7400. The regular 7400 shares the same 6-core, 12-thread design, but runs at a lower 3.3 GHz base and 4.3 GHz boost clock. It also carries just 16 MB of L3 cache, which means lower gaming performance compared to the F model. However, this chip does include integrated RDNA 2 graphics, making it handy for troubleshooting builds or for ultra-budget systems where a discrete GPU isn't immediately available. It retains support for DDR5 and PCIe 5.0 on the AM5 platform, and at around 145 US dollars, it remains an affordable way to step into AMD's newest ecosystem, especially for OEM buyers who want a turnkey solution. So, whether you're eyeing a budget AM5 gaming build or planning a custom PC through a system integrator, these three CPUs are proof that AMD isn't slowing down. The Ryzen 5 9500F offers next gen Zen 5 performance at a mainstream price. The 7400F gives you shockingly high boost clocks and cash for serious gaming, and the 7400 delivers integrated graphics for those who need a simple all-in-one solution. Availability will vary, especially for the 7400 and 7400F, which are primarily OEM parts, but savvy builders who keep an eye on regional retailers might snag some great deals. Stay tuned for hands-on benchmarks and performance testing as these chips reach more markets.